This new meat slaughtering facility is one tool the state is utilizing to curb the shortage of meat processing facilities in the state of Montana. Governor Gianforte took a tour Wednesday to promote the state's investment in agriculture. I think there's been a shortage for maybe the last 10 years or so. It's just now catching up and COVID has really put that on the map. Spirits were high over at Blue Creek Marbled Meat Company as Governor Gianforte toured the facility. Without more processing capacity here in the state, uh, the Montana brand is lost on Montana beef. The state recently awarded the company a $300,000 federal agricultural grant to build this meat slaughter facility. Tanner Gamble is a butcher at the company. He says there is a shortage, but not just with meat processing facilities. Yes, the plants have a shortage, but it's more so on the end of the people producing the product. And ranchers are no stranger to waiting for their meats to get processed. It kind of became a theme um, in the later 2018s, 2019s, where everybody was booking out for almost six months to a year, where traditionally it was a week or two weeks. Tanner says worker treatment could be a factor in these long wait times. It could be a gap from how the treatment of these workers and the people coming into the workforce are treated and paid. He says wages for these workers need to catch up with the demand, but in terms of meat processing facilities, we're a small minnow and compared to the demand out there and so there's more plants popping up. Tanner says smaller plants are popping up across the state in cities like Hardin, Terry, Broadus, and Sydney. So the production is ramping up, but with it, so is consumer demand. I think the consumer demand is ramping just alongside of it. And so I'm not sure if that's going to really fill the gap. As for the Blue Creek Marbled Meat Company, phase one of the process will employ about 20 people at a capacity of around 3,000 beef a year, but the number of employees is set to grow. You're looking at 80 maybe within the next five years. The company hopes to officially open in June. In Billings, Alina Howder, MTN News.